Hello everybody, Andrea Trask here with Dental World Tutoring. It has been so cold outside, that's why I do have the heater on over here, just in case you're wondering what that is. That's my own like personal heater for the office because it's freezing outside and I'm still a little bit chilly, so that's what that is. Um, but in the video today, I would like to talk to you guys about, because um, I did upload a video yesterday about what happens if you're working for an office that is just horrible. Either the staff is horrible, you had a bad experience, and you just are not happy with it, okay? So I posted that video yesterday, but I've been getting some comments and some emails pretty much of some stories and some experiences of what people are having. And a lot of people are saying to me that they had one horrible experience and they haven't been working as a dental assistant or a dental hygienist for two years or you know, three years or, or if at all. So I wanna to talk to you guys about how you should not let a bad experience stop you from doing what you want to do. So even if you work for an office that is just horrible, and you just had such a horrible time, you can't imagine working as a dental assistant or a dental hygienist anymore. But don't let that one bad office sort of um, um, hinder you from doing what you want to do because you all went to um, school. Sorry, I thought I saw something on my shirt there. Um, and you paid a lot of money. You worked very, very hard. So don't let that office throw all of that away, okay? Because that's essentially what you're doing. When you work for an office that is just awful and then you think to yourself, well, I can't work like this anymore. I'm just going to look for something entirely different because I don't want this happening ever again. Don't let that office do that to you because every office is different. I have worked for some offices that are simply horrible. And if I had been there first, if that happened to be my first experience, then I would be thinking, oh my goodness, if this is how the dental profession is, is, is like, then I don't want to be a part of it. But thankfully, I had an amazing first experience. So even those bad experiences that I have had over the years have, have you know, shown me and um, taught me that not all offices are like that. There are some horrible offices out there that treat their staff awful. Um, they may not pay on time, they may not pay properly, they may give you a hard time if you're calling in sick, um, you might not have a full lunch, you know, who knows, right? There are bad offices out there, but there are also amazing offices out there too. So just take your time and just um, wait and look for something where you have an amazing office. Even if you work, say, in four different offices and they were all horrible, keep looking. There are amazing ones out there, trust me. And do not be afraid that if you're in an office that you don't like, just look for something else while you're still um, working there. So you're still making the money, but look for something else. There's always something else out there, trust me. Um, the dental community is small. So once people hear you're looking for something, you never know when something could come up. So just keep on looking. Um, do not let a bad experience sort of make you forget the, the um, dental profession completely because that's horrible, right? Like you don't want your, you know, you spent a lot of money to go to school. You spent a lot of time. So if this is the career that you want, then you should be doing that, right? So good luck. If you need anything, let me know. But I guess in a nutshell, just keep on looking for that amazing office. It is out there, okay? So good luck, and I will see you guys very, very soon.